Hello, welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen and I am in the basement today. I'm happy to be in the basement today because that means I've gotten the upstairs semi-organized enough that I feel like I can be down here. So last time I was working on this shelf here, super happy with how it came out. It's where we put all the activities and such, you know, basketballs, soccer balls, all the things, ice skates. But I never returned all of these chairs that go in front of here. So I'm going to start there. I'm trying to talk to you here, but you can't hear me because the furnace is closer to the microphone than I am and it's currently running. But what I am saying is I have a lot of outdoor chairs and that's because when all of my kids are home with wives and grandchildren, then we need all those. We love to sit around the fire. And so I am keeping them. And could I put them from the ceiling or some sort of hanging system? Yes, perhaps. I guess I'm not ready to do that yet. So I'm just trying to put them neatly near the activities shelf that's right there. I don't want them too close to the furnace in case we need the furnace fixed or serviced, but I'm just getting them all nice and neat. And then this dolly gets used outside. So I wanted to put it near there. This belongs to my daughter, Crecia. We had taken some off season clothes out for her to go to Florida. So I need to put that back on the shelf where it goes. This whole area is just a hot mess because of the photos I mean to organize and haven't done. So I need to get those out of the way so I can kind of reorganize here as well as put some things here. So there are some things that are oddly shaped like that cash register Yvonne's not ready to let go of, whatever's in this bag, and maybe even I think that's yeah, sleeping bags down here. They're nice and light, so they could go up there. I do want to take these shelves down eventually, but that is not for today. I'm going to kind of move. This is also Crucius. Oh, this is winter stuff. She's going to want to see this. All right. I'm going to pull this out and put it upstairs for her. That kind of worked out good for her to go through when she gets home from Florida. Then let's move the photo project over. Ugh, this is my shame. Oops. Ugh. I really got to get a handle on this. And I know I should do 15 minutes a day. I know I should. Step one, make room over here. You know what? This needs to be cleaned. So now that I've blocked myself in, now I want my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> All right, you got this, right? The vacuum, hooked up, all the things. See, look, all this. Very dirty. out of curiosity do I look as chaotic as I feel <laughs> I hope not I'm actually gonna get the ceiling over this if you give a mouse a cookie it's just I now I notice that the ceiling again I've been doing the ceilings vacuuming every time but it makes more sense that I would do that before I start putting stuff on the shelf <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm tired, so we're done. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so you can pull these out. We hardly ever use them, but sometimes we use them. The sleeping bags. You know, like a youth trip, some kind of retreat. Yeah, so the vacuum bags, but honestly, as long as they're sealed, I guess I don't care if they're vacuumed. Obviously, they were and they came undone. is cleats and shin guards and every time I get rid of them somebody says I want to play soccer so I have one more year of someone in high school I'm gonna keep them just in case so that'll go up there too I also have bedding down here now that I put the photos in the way but I do use the bedding quite frequently when we have guests so I'm gonna put that on the shelf as well Again, I need to re-vacuum these someday, but then I use them. They were not doing very well in that shelf at all, especially when the vacuum is on and on. So that way, it's like sleeping bags and bedding. Oh, thank you. All right, this lid is not needed, so I can get rid of that now. I just noticed this not in a bag, so let's rectify that. See, I don't, oh, this one was vacuumed still. I do not plan these ahead of time. I just kind of come down and see what can be done so you can tell because I block something in and then I go, hey, I should move this. That's a great idea. And here is another one. You know what? I don't need all of these. <laughs> Change your mind again. Undo this again. I am going to declutter this one because it's not very thick. It's not keeping anybody all that warm. And then I'll keep this one. See, the girls, a lot of them had changed out their comforters, got new ones. So I kept the old ones because they're good for when you have company. And, you know, I think it kind of feasts with famine where I can have nobody. Or I could have so many somebodies that were like, okay, somebody's going to the bed and breakfast nearby because I ain't got enough rooms here. Honestly, but I don't know that I'm prepared to make that hard to get. I'm gonna count. Like how many people can I fit in this house? And then how much bedding would I need if they were all here? Well, seven kids. Two daughter-in-laws, third one coming next year, and then two grandchildren, one more being born in a couple of days. So, you know, got a lot of people. One more sleeping bag. Now this can go here. I got these labels on Amazon. You know, because usually I just use like pantry labels down here because you saw, if you saw my last decluttering one where I like was peeling a label off there was another label under that another label under that but i didn't really look hard enough on it look how small that is that is a really small label but these are much better and it did come with a pen so turn this around so that this label is not showing thankfully it's light we'll just put tracy's name on it i will use one of these smaller ones she doesn't have a long name Cresia. it's a nice pen we don't need much because they're see-through boxes. That still leaves an empty shelf here. Now, the reason I'm really in here is because Yvonne and Ava had cleaned out their closet when we did the declutter. You might have seen that video. And this was stuff that they decided to store. They weren't ready to get rid of. This is of primary importance because they like to do picnics in the summer. And this too, I'm a little confused on why that's here. But anyway, uh, this is not protected it's open. This is not protected, so I need to get them in better boxes. I found this one. I don't know if everything's going to fit in there. I feel like it's not, but let's try. Hey, <laughs> this is my mitten. 
This is a table. These are my mittens. Goodness. It's nothing sacred. This is a uh, tablecloth, I think, for the picnic basket. More mittens. I don't think this was supposed to be in there. I'm going to ask Ava about it. This can go with the games. Pillowcase. That's not supposed to be in there. Alright. Well, all the stuffed animal type stuff does fit in here, so that's good. I feel reasonably good that this could just go here. I kind of feel like we should get rid of it since they have the nicer picnic basket, but I need to ask first. This is a microscope I keep meaning to donate. I wanted to ask some homeschool friends first, but let me put it where donations go so that it'll be on my radar. So that's getting decluttered. Don't need that. I'm gonna go ahead and label this. This can go right here. That will be used as a Goodwill box because I do not have a lid for it. That's a good place from the microscope. And then there's the comforter I got rid of. And then there's the lid that will go to the dump. That lid does not fit on this box, unfortunately. While I'm walking around, this box needs to go. I'm not gonna use it for anything. It's just gonna go to the dump. I found this box but it's very dirty. So I'm gonna be putting the picnic basket in it and the table down. So I wanna get it wiped out. I think this was what my husband was putting garbage from the <coughs> bathroom in to put it outside. Just a hunch. I'm using, um, this is orange clove. Mrs. Myers. it's the first time I've ever bought this one and I'm liking it. Honestly, it doesn't take much. I love the, the Mrs. Myers scents. <laughs> they do sometimes get in my throat, though. So here's the picnic basket. And I am like to put this stuff in it. We'll keep it clean. This lid doesn't fit perfect, but it's going to be perfect for right now. Fit on the shelf. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was. So I can move this up. I guess this is going over here. I noticed there's ice skates here, so I need to put that with the other ice skates. And then this can go over here. I really was trying to empty this shelf, but it'll happen. It just won't be today. The next time I come down, I want to deal with these two boxes of homeschool stuff that were from high school, because then I could use one of these boxes for this stuff. It doesn't need to be in a box that big so that it will fit over here. I would love to empty this shelf so it could be used for a different purpose. This wasn't one of those dramatic before and after like some of my other ones, but definitely something that needed to get done. And um, my since my back is sore, I feel like I need to stop and rest a little bit and then we'll start supper. I'm making a cauliflower, cheesy beef bake or something like that. I thought I would show that to you because I have not been showing low carb recipes at all. So I feel like if you're one of my health clients, you're like, why aren't you sharing recipes for us? So this is great for anybody who's just trying to be healthy. And I, it's a new recipe to me, so I'm excited to try it. This recipe calls for a teaspoon and a half of olive oil. So I'm giving it a really good spray and then three quarters of a pound of 95% to 97% lean ground beef. So I'm getting that all chopped up. This is a very basic home style recipe, you might want to add some hot sauce or red pepper flakes to it because it might not be 
strong enough for a lot of people, but I really liked it because it was a very simple and basic recipe. It's also very quick, so, and all in one pot. I am adding a half a teaspoon of salt to the hamburger, and then I'm also going to add a half teaspoon of ground black pepper. In between each thing, I'm just kind of chopping up the beef as it is cooking because I really like my ground beef to be chopped up small. I don't like it to be in big chunks. Next, I'm adding one clove of garlic. I don't really measure mine. I have minced garlic and I just put a rounded tablespoon, which probably is a little bit more than one clove. Besides the garlic, the bulk of the flavor comes from one and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard. And I definitely think this makes a big difference and you'll definitely miss it if you don't add it in. For the vegetable, I am using a cup and a half of riced cauliflower. I just use frozen cauliflower, so I measured it out and I put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. You're gonna be adding a quarter cup of water before you put it in your hamburger mixture. And then you're gonna just simmer that uh, for about three to five minutes until the cauliflower is tender. Once it has simmered with the lid on, you'll add a half cup of reduced fat grated cheddar cheese. Now I use reduced fat mozzarella because that's what I happen to have in the house. But next time I think I would go ahead out to the store and grab myself some cheddar because that would add extra flavor as well. I was tempted to leave the cheese on the top to just melt, but then I decided to go ahead and stir it in as it said in the directions and let it get all nice and melty. An optional ingredient is two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. I did not have that in the house, so I didn't use it. This was for two servings, so my husband and I split it between the two of us. I felt like this recipe was very filling and definitely a quick and easy recipe that's great for weeknights. I really did like it and I hope you try it. Let me know what you thought of it. So that's it for today. Remember as always that God loves you and I love you too and I can't wait to see you next time.